Hey everybody, this is JJ with RealitySurvival.com and today we're at the Lincoln Sport Parachuting Club. We're going to go up in a little plane ride and uh, take a look at some ground to air signals we have out so you guys can get an idea of what they look like from different altitudes. Um, remember you're going to be looking at uh, color contrast, straight lines, um, you know, seeing how they stand out from the environment around it. So uh, you'll be able to see the different ones at different altitudes and decide for yourself which ones work better. Okay, so here are the ground to air signals we've got laid out for you. First, this orange one on the left is a 10 uh, section piece of a C9 canopy from a fighter jet uh, ejection chute, and that's a huge ground to air signal. Um, second piece we got here is um, an eight or nine section piece of a white, the white portion of a C9 canopy which is also huge. And then on the end here, we've got your standard cheap emergency blanket tied out. And then right next to it, we've got a fluorescent orange poncho, uh, which is your basic cheap $2 poncho. Then the yellow piece here is a uh, piece of shelter material um, and hammock that I've uh, come up with and kind of put together. And then the red piece is the same thing. Those are both five foot wide and nine feet long. Then on the other end, we've got just a Walmart uh, backpacker's tarp. It's blue. It's also uh, about five by nine. And we've got the more heavy duty emergency blankets with one orange side up and one silver side up. Those are about the same thing. I think about six feet wide and nine feet long or so. And then here on the end, we've just got um, about a 10 foot, uh, excuse me, probably about a 20 foot section of aluminum foil with the shiny side up. So that's what we got laid out and now we'll go up top and see what it looks like. I was under the, uh, the, the parachute canopy. I left the airplane with, with JJ there and uh, I started, uh, I opened my parachute at about 9,400 feet and started looking at the, uh, the signals. Um, at 9,000 feet, 
Pete, I started taking pictures and uh, signals, the most visible ones were the, the, the shiny ones. Um, this one was visible here, and that one, that, that shiny one over there was most visible. And then, of course, the, uh, the big pieces of parachute canopy were visible. The orange being more visible than the white. Um, as I came down, I kept taking pictures. Um, the blue was virtually unseeable until about 6,000 feet, and then it was still pretty obscured. Um, the orange was visible, but it was so small. Um, this orange was, was good at six to 7,000 feet, but it was nowhere near as bright as the, the silver. And uh, this color here, what'd you call that? Just red. Just yeah. red. That one was probably least visible above 5,000 feet. It was about 5,000 feet before it really became visible. The yellow didn't do bad, um, but it wasn't as visible as you would think. So th this was a good signal at, you know, four or 5,000 feet. Four or five. And at okay. 3,000 feet, that was kind of the breaking point where you could clearly see everything. Um, How about the aluminum foil? What was your impression on that? The aluminum foil was... was um, but it, it didn't have as much surface area mm -hmm. as the rest, and I think that this would be a good signal, but maybe a big X. Sure. You know what I mean? Yep. Because yep. just one line with the rest of this, it kind of got lost. But it was, I mean, it was equally as shiny as, sure. as, as the other metallic looking ones. Excellent. So. Excellent. That's what I got to say about that. Alrighty. So that is the opinion from the eye in the sky. Um, so hopefully you guys will take that consideration, you know, whenever you're packing up your survival kits or your gear to go out into the wilderness. Make it big.